approach to editing, has that fundamentally changed in anything about how you go about shaping a film? Yes, it does, because I feel I can experiment uh, wildly, wildly, wildly. Now, with digital editing, I can make a copy of my edit in one second by just pushing a button. With digital editing, I can make a copy of my edit in one second by just pushing a button. Copy, 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 copy. And I then slash into that edit, not worrying about the sync of the dialogue or the sync of the music. Oh, I turn the, the scene upside down, put the beginning at the end, and, uh, and just try anything that kinetically uh, seems worth trying on film I wouldn't have been able to do that I would have waited till he came in shown him the edit then he would have had to walk around for a while while I re-edited copy copy undid all the splices and tried and made a record of how I did the original edit and Uh, so it would have, I think, dampened my enthusiasm for wild experimentation. Go fast am I going? I'm not going very fast! I'm gonna go faster! Uh, so that, that's a very good aspect of it. The main thing to remember always is that it's just a tool. That editing is living with the film, hopefully being given enough time to live with it, to figure out what it needs. And uh, you realize what needs to be done to it. Uh, and digital editing is just a tool in that. Uh, the actual aesthetic, uh, emotional, and rhythmical uh, solutions for things are the same as they were when people were working on Upright Moviolas. Thelma Schoonmaker edits Martin Scorsese's movies. Our interview was recorded in 2005. Fresh air. <laughs> Copy.